Uh, the hope would be that you know, as, as soon as if this person does get off the freeway, that the, uh, an opportunity will be presented immediately for CHP to be able to just go right in and use the pit maneuver and, and kind of disorient that driver and uh, hopefully stall the vehicle out. But we'll just have to, to see how, how that plays out. Definitely not going to be happening on the freeway. It is possible to use spike strips on the freeway, but not right now. Not that, you know, like, traffic's kind of picking back up in this area to about 50 miles an hour, and it looks like it's going to be with this until at least the bottom of the Kellogg Hill is if he goes back towards the 57 that's another choke point the 10 57 71 interchange especially on a Friday afternoon they may be coordinating something up ahead don't want to tip CHP's hand but uh, if they are coordinating anything uh, up ahead as far as a spike strip that would probably be a pretty good place to to set up yeah, and oftentimes on the freeway, we will see other cruisers uh, really trying to divert traffic, doing those round robins, getting the other cars to slow down so that they have a bit of a vantage point uh, on the driver that they are trying to stop.